Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Old Time Pottery Store. If you're not familiar with Old Time Pottery, I'm not surprised. They only have, I think, about 50 stores around the Midwest and the South. But they've got some pretty great stuff. They are a discount decor retailer, as you can see. It's kind of like a warehouse style store, but they have so much stuff. Starting with some inflatables. Now, a lot of these we'll see pretty much everywhere. But they've got a good selection. Some Scooby-Doo, some licensed merchandise, and, you know, that's the Halloweener. I don't know why they're Scooby. I don't know why the Halloweener dog is so popular. It's just the dog that never dies. There is one of those weird pumpkins that had those three ghosts sticking out of it. I have one that has two ghosts sticking out of it. It's just very strange, in my opinion. But, uh, lots of Mickey and Disney decor. Just a wide, wide selection of inflatables. Ghosts, look, there's Woody. And, of course, on the end there, we have the cat with the head that moves. It's been out for several years. And we'll just take a quick glance around at these boxes. Unfortunately, they don't have the prices listed you know, on the shelf where it would be nice and easy to read. But uh, hopefully you saw the prices on the tags that we were just looking at, if there was something that you wanted to buy. But I'm pretty sure all of these um, that are boxed here were actually on display. If not, it must only be one or two. But I'm pretty sure these were all up there. Jack Skellington. What's that Snoopy... And so forth. They seem to be pretty well placed, the boxes underneath the inflatables. But there they are. Moving on to some of the aisles. We'll start with some end caps here. There's just some bells for your door. And these are, I'm not sure what they're. They're like little light up globes. Looks like there's a switch on the bottom, but there was nothing to test them, so I'm assuming they just light up. I kind of love these witches' brooms at the bottom. It looks so much like a rag raggedy old broom, but they have eyeballs. Very cool. Some lawn stakes to make a little fence. And then just some of this regular old decor. There's some lights. Some spider formation or string lights. I picked up some green lights from here recently. I, was, I enjoyed those. A couple of whirling lights. And skeleton hands for your walkway. Or even a skull fence if you want to barricade your walkway a bit. Or some tinsel cats. And some creepy cloth. Of course, you know, I always recommend you buy your creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree. There's no sense spending any more than that. There's a bat here. Sorry, the front one didn't work, but it looks like the eyes light up in the back. This creepy skeleton. I'm uh, skeleton, sorry, spider. Doorbell. Doorbell we've had around for several years, too. I love that. It's got a nice effect. I actually bought this phone on clearance. I think I only paid $5 for it last year. Maybe two years ago. I haven't seen this before. Kind of neat. It's a little awkward though. I'm not sure what look they were really trying to go for with that. I think that's just more irritating than fun. I'm not sure what this violin does. Couldn't really get it to work. I'm not sure if I read the box, but I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm assuming it plays some music. Crystal ball with the eye. Love that. And here's another crystal ball without an eye. Nice little flashing effect. Around the corner here, we've got some general decor. A lot of wreath selections. A skim past all of this fall stuff. There's a little bit of Halloween hiding in here. 
then as we make our way down this long aisle of fall merchandise we do still have some Halloween wreaths at the top. These are looking a little bit more macabre. I love those. And I think I spy just one more little Halloween item here at the end. Cute little witch. And a few little fun figures that I missed here on top of the display. And then we have an aisle full of more figures, standing figures, and yard stakes, and so forth. Now, actually, I love that little pumpkin guy, but I bought this little skeleton guy last year. I think he's so dapper. I got him at Ross. I think I paid like 20-something dollars for him. He was pretty cute. These are little solar-powered light-up lawn stakes. So you've got a pumpkin, a skull and crossbones might be good for a pirate theme and then these much smaller just little happy happy things for fun kid friendly yard decor I guess a whole lot of them even with a friendly welcome message if we take a peek back toward this aisle I didn't notice the back side of here has some different figures. Here is a Mrs. to go along with my Mr. Skeleton. She's a little odd looking, but the little pumpkin girl's kind of cute with a big fat pumpkin head. And just some more lawn stakes, various messages on them. More faces. Kind of like this little skeleton in the middle. The red nose kind of makes it look like a clown. Some more welcome steaks. And signs. Get some lanterns and just other general things. Here are some four ninety nine, you know, mats. Big selection of art you can choose from. Four ninety nine is a good price, but you know those things don't last very long. Maybe good for a season, maybe two. A lot more pumpkin decor over here. The little sign with the witch and her monsters. I actually have one of those in a different form. These have been around forever. I love these little pumpkin gourd type uh, jack-o'-lanterns. Got some really creepy faces, very um, sort of nightmare before Christmas looking, and then these ones on the end are awfully spooky. Over here we've got some gravestones. Even though these are small, I usually don't like the small gravestones, but I thought I think they've got great artwork on them, good design. These look like they're sets, and we've got some ground breakers. Look at that skeleton guy, he's just very creepy. More door signs. Enter at your own risk. Some ceramic dogs, if that's your thing. More tombstones. They're supposed to... Oh, I didn't think it lighted up, but I just noticed that there was a little red light at the bottom. They probably just don't show very well in the store light, but... That tombstone on the bottom was kind of neat with a little skeleton peeking out over the back of it. A couple more reeds and so forth before we move on to the pumpkins. You can get a pumpkin to say whatever you want on it, or if you want a little crow on top of it, or a pumpkin with a hat. You can pretty much get whatever you want. Look how many rows and rows and rows of everything they have here. I mean, this place is massive. And again, more general decor. Don't know what to say about it. This little boost, boost, kind of cute. The lettering kind of flashes, gives it that little neon sort of effect. And then a bunch of other little light up things here. I don't generally like this kind of stuff because it, whoops, huh? Um, it 
you, know, you have to turn it on and off generally. I don't like props that need to do that. I like the sort of motion activated props or things with a timer. I think every Halloween prop needs to have a timer. Really love the stacked pumpkins. In the bin here are kind of like ornaments, I guess they are. They've got little ornament hooks. Nightmare Before Christmas one. We've got some pillows for whatever kind of decor you like. Witches or signs or general trick or treat. Only 10 bucks. That's a good price for a pillow. But this guy I absolutely love. He's a little pricey. 100 bucks. But he's also very dapper and cool looking. He's even got a little cat standing there beside him if you saw it. Over here, you can get a dollar fifty bag. A few different designs. And a couple of things to throw in those bags. You've got a bunch of little tchotchkes. Yeah, more pumpkin faces. But these figurines are kind of cute. Vampires and Frankenstein, all skeleton people. Trick or treat signs, and here at the bottom, we've got some. Uh, spider web covered pumpkins, I guess. Generic garland. You get that at the dollar store. Don't don't buy it here. But if you did need a spider web with a letter in it, you could spell out your initials. Get them here. Now, I think these sort of tchotchkes look a lot better. Um, they don't look quite as cheesy as some of the other ones. We've got the, the sort of muted color schemes, I think, maybe, that make it just a little bit better. Look at that skull. We'll see that again here in a minute, I think. Um, but it was made up of a whole bunch of tiny little skulls. Very cool. And a cat with a hat, or a bird with a hat. Creepy eyeball skeleton. Look, here's some more of the skeletons with other little skeletons. Or skulls, I should say. And some witch bottles, apothecary bottles, whatever you want to call it. This little hearse lights up. I love the different flashing effects inside there. Again, more bottles. I wonder if they will ever come close to selling all of those bottles. Some more figurines and witches hats again. I think these kind of blow away the ones we were looking at at that other uh, table. That little bowl doesn't want to turn off. We have some lanterns. It's got a little bit of a flicker. I don't remember where it was, but we saw some recently that had a really good flicker effect. These are not them. That little three skull thing you can easily make with clay pots and little Dollar Tree skulls. So I don't know how much they were wanting for that, but if it's more than like four or five dollars, way too much. Make it yourself. Oh, I think these were just little candle holders. I like the little skeleton, or uh, spider. I keep wanting to call everything skeletons. Candelabra is pretty cool. That's kind of vintagey cat stuff. That was neat. And witches. We will see a whole bunch more here in a second. But you've got all of your potion jars and things to go along with them. At least those had kind of neat toppers if you saw that. Hocus Pocus. Little trees. I don't care for those much, really. I really don't understand the dolls, but... Yeah, just because it's not my thing doesn't mean it's not yours. If you do like the dolls here, you have plenty of a selection to choose from. Cat sandwiches. Eat, drink, and be scary. And little lantern candle holders. Lots and lots of candle holders. Some sort of jar. I don't know if that lid comes off. 
It doesn't seem to light up or anything. I'm not sure what that is, but I kind of like the look of it. Getting some more door hangers. Now we're getting into the skeletons. You got a bag of skeletons. Skeleton bones, I should say, or a little skull wreath. Got it right that time, skull. Or just some skulls in general if you want them. And then you got your hanging figures that light up, so let's go ahead and take a look at those here. Well, I guess in a second, first, don't want to miss those things on top. Little cute trick or treater figures. Find one that works. Huh. Got a nice little flash. Not bad. And the larger hanging figures here. Let's see what they do. Maybe if we can find one that works. Not one of those. Looks like he has a migraine or something with that flashing forehead. This one seems a little better. A little slower. This face is very creepy. Must do something scary. Odd flash. <laughs> I wonder if these are the reject items from somewhere else. Is that why they're sold here cheaply? That one was kind of cool, though. Some witches. I love the expressions on their faces. And is that a witch's hat? No. Don't know what that is. <laughs> Some more signage, door hangers. And some table runners and placemats. I actually bought a bunch of those from Ross. I love them. And these guys down here at the bottom are kind of cute. Not sure what this is. But eyes light up. And a couple of little more cutesy things for your kid-friendly people. And that'll pretty much do it for our trip to the Old Time Pottery Store. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for more store walkthroughs here if they put out more stuff and otherwise. Till next time, take care and happy haunting. <laughs>